In this video, I'm serving my three ant colonies a four course meal. Whoa, that transition gave me motion sickness, so this one is slower. Stay tuned because this video is going to be fun, it's going to be interesting, it's going to be ants eating stuff. So, yeah, let's move on. I'm also showing how much this colony has grown. It went from 15 ants to a lot. Yeah, I didn't count them, but trust me, it's a lot. Before we start to feed them, let's first quickly see what colony one here is up to. That is the queen right there. And that is one big ass pupae. I think it's about the same size as the queen. It is probably becoming a soldier. This right here is the back of the nest. At least one of them. They got two. One to keep the eggs, larvae and pupae. And want to keep their seeds because this is a messer species which are seed collectors although they also store some pupae and larvae in this nest i have no clue why i know i'm a biologist but i never said i was a smart biologist the food we are going to give them is mostly for these larvae adult ants only eat liquid food these larvae hatch from eggs then turn into pupae which turn into adult ants and these adult ants then shit all over my terrarium, which brings it full circle. So most of the food is going to be for the larvae, but the last course will be something liquid for the adults. Usually these nests are covered in a red foil, but for filming purposes I removed it, otherwise this, this would suck and you wouldn't see shit. I'll show some more of the other two colonies later, but now I think it's time to start feeding them. And a four course meal of course needs tables. And yes, I looked for the most ridiculous popping sound I could find to make those stones appear. Yep, sounds pretty dumb. First course, appetizer. I, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, this, this is just a piece of ham. Let's just feed the ants. This is colony one and this is Bob, and she is ready to tear up that ham. Yeah, that sounded kinda wrong. This is Colony 2, and they're just chilling now, collecting some seeds to bring to their queen. They don't know what's about to hit them. Ham, it's just ham again. This is still a pretty small colony, so I'm helping them by cutting the meat a bit. This will make it easier for them to bring the meat to the nest. In case you're wondering, the big one is the queen. Yeah, you all know that. And yes, this tube is nasty. Don't worry, you'll see some ants eating stuff in a few seconds. Because Bob here is ready to tear up that meat. That, that was on purpose that time. I'm just gonna give Ant Colony 3 a small piece too, so they can start eating. They have finally started digging tunnels by the way. And you know what that means. The big move from the tube into the tunnels is probably happening soon. Subscribe I guess if you want to see that. I'm opening the tube in the end of the video, but now I think it's time to see if Bob is already eating. Yep, but she's alone. That is why I'm moving the piece of ham closer to the nest. I discovered the time-lapse option on my camera. That means this video will have a lot of those. And I film all of this with my phone by the way. Let me repeat that. I film this with my phone. I don't think you guys realize what sacrifices I'm making to film these time lapses. I think for this alone, I deserve a like on this video. Do it, do it now, press the like button. Bob thanks you. They are slowly cutting the meat in pieces and bringing it back into the nest. Let's take a look at colony 2. That is one ambitious ant, that is like a human dragging half a cow up a hill. Okay, it's too heavy, she's giving up. Nope, getting a bigger piece. She makes it look easy. That is because ants can lift up to 50 times their own body weight, which is pretty crazy. She finally was able to bring the meat into the nest area. If you look closely, you can see some pieces. After a few hours, this is what's left. As for colony 3, 
we're going to do another time lapse. I imagine you're all cheering in front of your screen right now. No? Just remember, this was me while this was filming. Okay, you guys can start eating now. Please, people are watching. Any day now. This is a struggle in working with animals. They don't always do what you want. And that is also why most of my videos suck. This is some footage from a previous video where they did cooperate a bit. Unfortunately, this was not a time lapse video. Time for the second course. And don't worry, from now on, things are going to go faster. And the second course is the main course. <sighs> I don't know why I do this again. This is a cricket. And yes, this is one of those crickets I ate because I lost a like challenge on a previous video with you guys. And in the end of this video, I'm setting another tasting challenge with a like goal. Let's see what they do to this cricket. It seems like they're still hungry after that ham. In reality, this video took me a few weeks to film. I only have one camera, so I had to feed the colony separately and wait in between feedings. I know, it looks like they're just moving the cricket and not eating any of it, but let's take a closer look. They're really chewing on it and tearing pieces off. Slowly but surely, they're eating the whole cricket piece by piece. Yeah, Bob is dragging the whole thing in. I don't think that's a very smart move. Yep, she blocked the entrance of the nest. Let's see if Colony 2 is smarter. I'm helping them again by cutting the cricket into pieces. This ant is going for the easy targets, the antennae. That's pretty promising, because that's smart. I don't know if she will be able to do this alone. I think she should get some help from the rest of the colony. Okay, never mind. But she's still got a very long way to go. One small step for ant. One giant leap for ant kind. You can just see her getting frustrated. And that is when she thinks, have this. In the meanwhile, the rest of the colony is collecting some other pieces of the cricket. Like this leg. Yes, almost there. That's the right direction. No, too far. Yes, a little bit back. No, too far again. Then finally, they drag it in and back out. Remember when I said these ants were smart? I take that back. For Colony 3, I'm just showing a very short clip, because these crickets are probably getting very boring. Course 3 and 4 are going to be very different, so please watch till the end, it will help me a lot. I don't know if pre-dessert is even a thing, but yeah. Have you ever wondered if ants eat strawberries? They probably do now. Let's test it. I'm only giving this strawberry to my third ant colony, because I'm afraid the other ones will drag it into their nest and it will molt. Quick look at my studio behind the scenes. Yeah, I think we should go back in front of the scenes. Forever. This is the first time I'm giving them a strawberry. It seems like they're just investigating what this strange thing is. But they're not really eating it. Not even after a day. So I'm taking it out. And if you think that means ants don't eat strawberries, you are wrong. Because on one of my strawberry plants I saw this. And if you think that's because this is another species, you are wrong again. Same species, like garden ants. You are wrong often, aren't you? I've got only one reasonable explanation why my ants aren't eating. They are a-holes and don't want me to get good footage. Now we're just going to give them the last course, which is something liquid for the adults. And then we're going to take a look in the tube here. Last course, dessert. My hands aren't shaky, it's just hard to squeeze a drop out. My hands aren't shaky, it's just hard to squeeze a drop out. My hands aren't shaky. Yeah, my hands are shaky. This is honeydew, by the way, a sugary substance that adult ants can eat, or drink, 
or whatever you want to call it. And if this video gets 80,000 likes in a month, I'll taste it. You probably think that isn't too bad, but this is where Honey 2 comes from. Also, quick reminder, don't ever do what I do in my videos and I'll tell you why. I'm an idiot, that's why. The other two colonies don't seem to be interested in the honeydew, so I'm just taking a look in the tube of colony 3 now. As you can see, that's a lot more than 15 ants. Eventually, this colony can grow up to 5000 workers. Of course, I will give them a bigger terrain by then. Like always, don't click off, click on the video at the end screen, it will help me a lot. Thank you to all patrons, members and everyone that watched. I think you'll like this video next. Bye.